Well, hello there. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Yay. Oh, it's finally here. It's finally Friday. Um, went ahead and shared that into my group. So we got that going now. So Jessica and I had chatted about doing a collab today and we couldn't make it happen. She had some things come up and um, both of us are planning to take our families out to dinner tonight. So it wasn't going to happen later on tonight either. So anyway, it's all right. I got a fun activity for you and I have no idea what I'm doing because I just threw this together. I opened up my spring box of goodies and I'm going to get ready. Hello, Anita. Thanks, Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi, Laura. Thank you. Hi, Ann. Leveda. Howdy, howdy. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sharon. Thank you. And Debbie. Awesome. Thanks. I did it all myself with the iMovie. I know, like, totally easy. And I, I, um, I, I made it on an iMovie on my computer and I, like, threw it together. Um, I knew if I had like time to spend on it, like hours, I could probably do it nicer than what I did, but it's okay. All right. So I have a little, a little grass here. Got like some ribbon, got some fun Eastery stuff. I have my Cottontail Farms transfer and I have this really great palette board. How can we put this together and make it adorable for Easter? And so that's that's what we're gonna do. Um, yes, Jean, I made my own movie um, because I just, I don't know, I don't know, I just did. I forgot to put my bracelet on today. Yay, Amy Lynn. Awesome. So excited. Do a fun unboxing. I know you've done it before, but can do it again. Relaunch. Okay. Oh, and my picture. Well, so that's the picture that um, Chaka Tour hired to have our, picture, our photos taken. And I'm sitting like this looking out my eyeballs and so when I first saw the picture I was like I hate it I hate it I don't like it at all and then a million people told me to like get a grip and just it's good they're like do you see any double chins no then it's good <laughs> so yeah I had I, so so I like it now and now I'm using it for everything um until I Unless I get another one sometime, but um, I feel like my skin looks so much better on camera than in real life. It's true. So I try new makeup. I still have like saggy baggy eyes, but um, I've tried new makeup and in, in real life, IRL, in real life, I'm not happy with it. But on the on this camera, I feel like it looks really good. But I in real life, it doesn't look the same. So, FYI. Or maybe I just need to see myself. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't have mirrors in my house. Maybe I should just have screens that like are cameras, and then it just makes me always look flawless or whatever. I know I'm not flawless, but you know what I'm saying. Ah, uh, thanks, George. Hello. Hi, Tammy from Idaho. I'm following that missing children from Idaho story. That is so creepy. And that woman. Hi, Helen. Totally grab. Don't. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm like looking out the side of my face. I know. I don't know. Oh, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Carly. Aw, TGIF shows. Yeah. <sighs> Do you know, so I used to watch Saved by the Bell um, Saturday mornings. And um, I also watched 90210. And both of those shows, this is just going to tell you my age. 
both of those shows when they graduated high school is the same year I graduated high school. So 902 and 0 and Saved by the Bell, the original Saved by the Bell. Um, we graduated high school the same year, which is 1993. Uh, 93 rocks. Whatever else we would say. That's like in my yearbook a hundred times. Um, so, yeah, so those shows. And then they did Saved by the Bell the college years and they put it on at night. It was a nighttime show. And I watched it in college because I'm that that girl. Awesome, Shalise. Hi, Angie Carson. Hello. Um, Shalise was having fun last night or two. I don't know when you were having fun, but I was like, I want to have fun. I saw your live. And Cindy, hello, Robin. Laura Grillmeyer from Florida. Yay, I'm gonna be in Florida next Saturday. San Diego, that is a fun city. Debbie, hello. I had a caller yesterday. Hi, Margaret. She was coping still was watching uh, 90210. For real, 90210? That was her coping still. Dylan. Uh, who else? Well, hi, Jean Walker. Susanna didn't. Oh, hey. I'm like, Susanna didn't catch that. Hi, Mom. Are the egg cutouts really one-time use? It depends on what you think is one-time use. Um, they're marketed as one-time use because they're wood. So they're not, they're not, um, so you can see the grain there. It's just like our pallet boards, if you've used our pallet boards or whatever else. You could wash it off, but if you have a dark um, color on it, it could stain because this is wood. So you can wax it or you could um, like sand it down if you wanted to reuse these. It's, it's totally up to you. Or you can use the other side. You can also use the other side. That's exactly right. So, um, you know, yes and no. Like for me, I don't think anything is a one-time use only because I don't think twice about like sanding and painting or, um, you know, distressing it. To use it again. 1978 was even better. Dang, that was my 25th year reunion. Oh. <laughs> Way older. Graduated in 84. Well, my sisters are older than me. They were they graduated in the 80s. 86 and 87. I'm even old. 1983 graduate. So, you're 10 years. That's my cousin's age. So, you're just the age of my cousin. I look at, I like think of people in graduation years, like how old they are relative to me. So what is the yeah, the character, Balky. Oh, Balky Bartakamus? Um, that was Perfect Strangers. Balky, and it would be like, he had a sign, something or bust. Do you remember? I don't remember. I can't remember what it is. Perfect Strangers. That was that show. I helped you remember. Follow the bunny. He has chocolate, a club transfer. No, Gene. That is on the um, vintage truck add-on spring. The spring add-on. It's, it's, on it's new a one. new one. It's a new catalog. Hi, Terry. Okay. How about I graduated in 61? It's all right. And graduated in 79. See? My parents are way older than that, so you're like in a older sister range, right? Or a young aunt range. Do you say aunt or aunt? Would you be an auntie or an auntie? Because I had a bunch of aunties because that's the Chicago side of my family. But then everyone else in the world happens to say auntie and I'm like, I can't do it. I just can't. I can't, I can't bring it myself to say those words. Um, and auntie is like part of their name. So they weren't it wasn't like, so I have an Auntie Kathy. Her name wasn't Kathy, it was Auntie Kathy. I had an Auntie Biddy. I had an Auntie Barbie. I have another Auntie Barbara. I have, a, like, I have my aunties, and they're not aunties. <laughs> That's not in my vocabulary. Sorry. Let's get to work. Cause, Please do. You know what, Susanna? I you want the transfer just before I leave. Stop. Oh, yeah, I have to use the transfer so she can use it. So she can borrow it. That's the perk for working for me. That's the only perk. It's the only, it's the only perk. 
Okay. Graduated in 75. I'm, listen, there's a point where I'm really not young anymore. Uh, hi, Teresa, Lori, and Melissa. Auntie in Missouri. No, we say aunt. Yes. See? Aunt. Exactly. Thank you. But I do have quite a few who don't. Like, my whole, like, my daughter's, their, like, grandparents' side, they're all aunties. Aaron, who I'm, my husband, his whole, they all say aunties. I just can't bring myself to do it. And the only reason I'm saying it now is just to be able to, like, say the word so you know what I'm talking about. Because in my life, it doesn't, I don't like it. Unless I'm your aunt, because my little nieces and nephews growing up, now they're all adults, but they called me Dia for no reason other than the very, very first nephew couldn't say Sarah, because S is a hard one to say, and so he would say Dia, that was Sarah, but Tia in Spanish is aunt, so we kept it. Like, they just would call me Dia. That's funny. It was cute. Graduated in 82, married in 82. I couldn't even imagine that. I really couldn't. Hi, Carrie. Uh, no, not all designers have assistants. Only people who have crazy I workloads. Oh, she is not an assistant. That's what she just said. She is... I'm VP of getting stuff done. VP of getting stuff done. And when you say stuff, that's really not the word. <laughs> um, no. So, yeah. Um, but honestly, when I do, like, she is, like, my link to the post office. Like, everything that I mail out, like, she'll do all my packaging and my shipping and mailing. And then, yeah, like, on that's, like, the basis. major, major, that's the major part of her job. And then also keeping me organized and putting my stuff away so that I can't find it. <laughs> it's usually what she does. Because uh, I'm not the most organized person. I work in a messy space and I don't clean it up till I feel like it. What, or I do it. Or she does it. When I'm gone. Fancy Nancy Auntie or... Auntie sounds fancy or auntie sounds fancy. Class of 2001. See? That's a young right there. That right there. 2001 is when my daughter was born. My first daughter. Hi, Michelle. Crick, not creek. Um, down by the creek. Creek, crick. I've, I've said it both ways. And still married, Florence. That's amazing. Take it from me. I had a practice one, and then I had a real one. It's the only way I can talk about it. Um, Terry said, hello, Susanna. Hi. Yep, she's my chalk bestie. You want a tour of my craft room? You. So it's not, per it's not like clean. <laughs> no, not today. <laughs> when my bathroom and guest room are finished in the back room there, and all of the stuff that needs to be put in storage goes back into storage, I will give you a tour, I promise. But at this moment in time, that makes me just a little bit full of anxiety because I have a lot of crap. I mean stuff over there. All right, so here's what my thought is. I want to use this bright ribbon because I think it's cute. Although I don't have to. Um, but I want to put... This is kind of a, so if I put this ribbon actually, it might, it might still be okay. I'm going to, I'm going to do some things. Yeah, I mean, I promise. You guys keep asking. I promise I will do a tour eventually. Um, Maybe I'll do a tour when you're gone. You are not doing a tour when I'm gone. You can hold me to it, because I will. I Like, I would love to show off my space 
Yes. My room isn't ready yet. It's just full. So this guest room, so really the renovation of our basement has taken years. Since you built the house, it's my room. So we built the house with an unfinished basement, but we always had in mind our plan of what we wanted. And mind you, we built this house, we only had three kids at the time. So it was 2013, wait, 2011. Yeah. So it was 2011 when we moved in. We started building the house in 2010. So we moved in 2011 way before Chalk Tour, and um, at that time I had a scrapbooking, card making, paper crafting business, and so the basement was all mine, so I could put up tables and I could hold classes and do clubs. I had like six clubs that would meet every month, and um, pretty much my life was crazy. Way more crazy than it is now, because paper crafting for other people is hard. I just want you all to know that. It's way harder than what I do now. Um, so anyone who is a stamping up or close to my heart or creative memories consultant, I feel ya. Like I totally do. I did it for 15 years. Um, all right. So I digress, but I also never made enough money with that, even doing it for that long and being pretty successful to afford to renovate my basement. Cause I, my husband was like, you need to pay for it. My business had to pay for it. So it never got done. That's the moral of that story. Until I begged him, like I would give him little bits of money at a time. Like you need to at least insulate because it's cold down here. So he insulated and he put up studs. That's about it. And then when I started doing chalk couture and I was like, um, your profit margin is way better because it's different company, different products, and it's just better. I was able to afford to finish it and then add a bathroom and a guest room and we're almost done. He needs to do flooring, um, flooring, finish the bathroom fixtures. Then we'll move in the stuff. So it'll be awesome. All right. So let's get this bunny done. Um, Hello, Teresa Roller and Kathy Kippen. We're gonna do a gray bunny because I like gray bunnies. So I have my Storm chalk paste here. And we are going to stir this up. I put a little, we're getting to the, the end of the line here with this. The big one finally? No, I already got rid of that. This is a, a smaller one but we're almost done. Cause see, I really like Storm as a color. So I use it a lot. Do you need another one or are you good? No, I'm good. Thank you. And a little, yeah, I don't know how many times I can use it. And I'm gonna make him, this whole thing just gray because I think it works. I'm gonna put some of that grass down here. All right, so when you're using the palette board, and I am using the back of it. I didn't even show you, but I'm using the back of it. Um, the front looks like this, and you could totally do a front and back design if you wanted. I'm just gonna try to make sure these seams get covered and then peel. Claire, ooh, this bunny is so cute. I make him, so when I get mad at him, this is what I say. I'm sure glad I'm earning a trip because you haven't earned your part yet. And, um, I'm going next. yeah. And then all I have to do is threaten him. Like, you know what? We're going to do a girl's trip. It's not going to be any boys. And then he'll be like, you wouldn't do that to me. And then, I would. yeah, yeah. So I try to make him earn his half of the trip. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's why he does work for me. And he carries my heavy stuff most of the time. Most of the time. So you don't have to wax it. I fuzz my, this isn't the front. So honestly, the surface on the back is different. Well, I guess it's not that different. 
But I didn't fuzz it and it was okay. I mean, I did fuzz it a lot and it was okay. You don't have to wax it. Only if you really have a seriously super sticky um, transfer. All right, so that's dry because I want to, this gives me a little anxiety because I know that once I pull this out, I can never like put it back. And it's, so I just wanna pull little bits of it out and I just wanna kinda like stick it down here. I want like organized chaos with this grass. But I don't know, I gotta, oh, I did plug in my thing. All right, so I have my hot glue gun, cause that's what I'm using. And, oh, I need some like fingertip things that I can touch this with. That's not my fingertip. I'm okay. really hands-on, Susanna. I'm really hands-on. Um, I love the bunny too, and Storm is so pretty. And we've got some marvelous too. I might. I'm gonna try to make a new color that coordinates with some of the things that I have here. Um, so, all right. I pulled out that multi-tool just in case. And then we have this Cottontail Farms, but I need to see where, because I'm gonna tie this around. I'm gonna do, you know, the typical Sarah faux bow, but I wanna leave a little bit of white showing. So that means I need to put this down a little bit farther. Okay, so we'll leave that up here. I'll go ahead and place that down so that I know. I got my multi-tool. Um, Florence, I'm not even gonna say that out loud because then she's gonna get this idea in her head. What, that I think Susanna should go. I should go. I get to stay home with the kids, it's my vacation. She's legit going to take over me. I don't have to get in the classroom this year. I know. She's going to, see, she's a substitute teacher, so she used to sub for me in my classroom, come home to my house and stay with my kids and, like, literally be me. This year, she doesn't have to come home from school. She doesn't have to sub for me because I, I'm not in the classroom anymore. You. Yeah, because I'm not in the classroom anymore, and so she'll get to, um, just hang out with my kiddos, and that's it. So, and we get to eat out because I don't cook. She doesn't cook, even though I leave her food to cook. Um, Emma can cook. But Emma's not here. Cassie could cook. Cassie's not going to be there. All right, I need a tray because I want to mix a newish color. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the green. I'm gonna mix a new, so I'm gonna try something. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Kitty. He is adorable. So I'm gonna mix guava, which is one of my all-time faves. Wait, you're gonna do what I said to do? <laughs> no, I'm not doing what you said to do. I'm doing what I told you I was gonna do. Mix guava and mauve. Well, yeah, I'm gonna try to tone down this because I want a color that kind of matches the little eggs <laughs> on this thing. What is your problem? I just got a text from Jean asking me to do something while I was here. <laughs> oh, Jean, Jean, Jean. All right, so we've got Marvelous and we've got Guava. I took one part guava to, well, one part marvelous, two parts guava. 
And we're toning this down a little. Ooh, this is gonna turn out really well. We need a little bit more. It's done, Mom. Do measure it. Yeah. Maybe equal parts. Because our gua this guava has like a little grayish tint to it. I mean, it's beautiful pink, but move that so you can see the color I'm creating. So it's a nice color in between here and here. Can you see nice color? Okay. And that's what we're gonna do our cottontail farms in this new color that we made. It's called Guavalis. See what I did there? I like it. Can we trademark it? Please do. It's Guavalis. Um, if you remember guava list, then you'll remember this pretty color. It's not as pretty. Shut up. She's laughing at me. Hot mess. Thank you, Florence. Okay. Because I was going to do just plain old marvelous, and then we thought about just adding a little bit of this to get to the color that's on um, these uh, things. It's a pretty color. I hate to lose it after I'm done here. So pretty, so pretty. Okay, alrighty, now let's move this because we have a lot of assembling to do. We need room. Ah, oh, thank you, Florence. She loves guavalus. Isn't I it do just too. guavalus? It's guavalus. I just love it so much. So interesting, these two colors together can make a prettier, pretty mm, kind of toned down color. There we go. Now, set that aside. Dry this, dry it, dry it, dry it. Thanks, Laura. And we're gonna try to assemble this project. Now, just, okay, it's okay, it's all right. I just wanna verify that I don't wanna use any other colors. I don't think so. I think I'm good. I like this color. All right, so we need to get rid of the excess. What are you doing? I'm are just looking on me. Well, because I don't have it on on my phone. Oh. Oh, it looks good. It. Thank you. It does look good. I think so. You guys can tell when I don't like something because I say that I don't like it. You can put your grass in here. Okay. Do you have a smaller one? Yeah. Do you need a smaller one? Yeah. I don't think there's a lot. A tealy kind? Or do you need smaller than that? That would be fine. That would be fine. So I'm going to put my grass. Yeah. This will help contain it. A nice less, less for me. bag for my bag of grass. And then when we get this going, when we get this going, all right, I need to scooch this over. I want a little bit of that white to show. Okay. Now, what I want is, oh, I need my, so I'm gonna use some wire cutters if I can find them. Okay, so yeah, I found them. All right, so I have this cute stuff and I wanna throw 
some like sprigs of this stuff into this, like what I'm doing here, right? So I want to put that down. Maybe I'll hot glue it. And then I've got another one. Oh my goodness. I just need to cut it apart from the wire. I love buying this stuff from the craft store because it um, comes in handy and you get so much of it and you can use it for all sorts of things. All right, so I'm gonna cut this down as much as I can. I'm gonna cut this off a little bit more. And the little wire wraps perfectly around the big wire, so it's really great. And I'll probably cut this off. So we'll do that. And we'll do that. And we'll kind of tie it up. I think I'm going to hot glue. You have to go and get dipping powder. It's all I've ever used. Um, on my nails? I don't like to dip on my nails. Is that what we're talking about? I. Oof. I'm just hot gluing the thing to the thing. It's very accurate. <laughs> Yay, Teresa! Anita, you know I will. I am definitely going to do a live on the new porch stuff. Um, I have a scroll saw and believe it or not, I've not used it yet, believe it or not. Um, I've only had it a little over a year. I've moved it a bunch of times. I'm going to find a permanent home for it in my garage so that I can use it and not make a mess down here. Yeah. All right, now. So I would like to cut some shapes for the um, add-on for the welcome sign. Ooh, I want to learn how to do that. Right. And so I don't know if I want to cut shapes or if I just want to cut circles. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Heavens to Betsy. I don't know who made up that saying, but um, and why Betsy? for all the Betsy's out there, I don't know why Betsy. What why Betsy? Betsy? Why not heaven to Sarah? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. Shoot. I am carefully... <gasps> See, it's not stuck, and I just don't want to burn myself. Get back there. Oh, my phone just not went me. off. It was my phone. I know, I'm saying it's not me texting you. Oh, it's not a text. It's oh. it's a drink water, drink Sarah. Water. I, I would cup. drink water, but I forgot my water. So I did cut my down it's like back. not even near me right now. In fact, it's all the way like far away. I would get you a bottle of water. Yes, a bottle of water would be amazing. I learned it from the best. Uh, no, I'm sure you did. That's my husband, the best at passive aggressive. Gosh, I sure wish someone would have uh, done the dishes today. 
Really? You better slow your roll, man. It's loose. It's loose? It's bad, but I just, I uncracked it. Oh, because I'm a kid? It's just a habit. Shut it. <laughs> Boy, that is the most refreshing, refreshing water ever. Um, legit, in Austin, Texas, we went to this restaurant. And they had the best water ever. And this was not a joke. My friends were drinking Bloody Marys. I don't drink Bloody Marys. At most, at for a breakfast, I might have a mimosa. But I, I'm not, I'm not a big breakfast drinker. So I was like, I'll take a water. And um, I didn't even want, like I wasn't even in the mood for coffee, which is really weird. And I'm drinking and he keeps coming over. He's like, how's the water tasting? I said, it's amazing. It's the best water I've ever had. And the ice cubes are awesome because they're like the... Hospital ice. The what? The hospital ice. Yeah, like the hospital ice, the um, uh, sonic ice, you know? And he goes, he's like, you know I'm not joking. He goes, we are known for our water. And I'm like, what? He goes, it's a secret ingredient on how we filter it. And then... That afternoon, we went out for lunch, and I'm sitting there drinking water again, and it was so gross. And I'm like, I can totally taste stuff in this water. I'm like, I need to go back to this other place called Moonshine and get my my water back. Um, so all I was trying to do is like shape this so that it's not sticking out super far. So I think I got it pretty good. So it's not too far off of the thing. Now, um, I got, so you're going to be mad at me because I got it last year or the year before. I think I saw it though when I was at, um, the boy's name or the girl's name? The boy's name or the girl's name, what? It's either the boy's name Oh. Or the girl's name. I believe it is the girl's name. See, no, I don't think I so. I get it at the boy's. Name. I got I it at the boy's, boy's name. name. Yeah. I think. Well, you can look at the label. No, it doesn't say. Get Distributed it. by MSPCI. Irving, Texas. Made in China. I'm almost certain it was the boy's name. I know it's the boy's name because I never bought, I don't think I've ever bought this stuff at the girl's because name before. Because I specifically went to buy that, oh. and I feel like I saw something similar, but not the same mm -hmm. recently. Yeah, so, beer mousse, beer and orange juice. So, I don't drink carbonated, bef or I don't drink beer, I don't drink carbonation so much. I don't, it, I don't like the way it makes me feel. Um, I'm gonna, I did hot glue this in the front. Maybe I'll hot glue just a little bit in the back. You know what? The way this, I touched that. <laughs> the way this is, it could make, I could do something on the back totally. Super cute. All right, now boy's name yep I know like I don't even see what the big deal is but it's all right I do it I say I sometimes sometimes I'll be like you know what it's here I cannot tell a lie okay I'm gonna do a little bit at a time and I'm just gonna stick it down burn myself a little Jeez. and it always surprises me I'm like oh look I can't feel anything and then boom it burned me didn't you get one of those gloves with your flat iron you should bring that down no I didn't get a glove with okay, my flat iron how would I have gotten a glove with a it's flat a iron heat protective with your flat iron so when you're doing your hair you don't burn your hands on the flat iron I've never burned my hands with my flat iron because well, it's covered in stuff that's not yeah, hot. But I will bring you my glove that came with the Now, flat iron. I have burned my hands with curling iron. That's for darn sure. In fact, it might be upstairs with my flat iron in the bathroom right now. Okay, I'm going to put 
I am just very carefully putting this grass on here, trying not to burn myself. I need a little bit more. There we go. I'm like out. I need another um, glue stick to put on here. Okay, now. Now I have a question. Let me throw this away. We gotta look at this and say, should I put grass on the front of it or, so look at it, look at it this way. It, what, did, what, what, oh, hi. Um, okay, should I leave it like this, or should I put something down here? Should I put, I don't know if I cover it with grass, but maybe it needs something on this white part. What do you guys think? Carrot. Carrot, see I'm, I could do carrots, but. Then they're under the grass, they're under the grass, they're growing. I don't know, like I think the carrot's cute, but I don't want. Just how I have it. I have this established in, I have established 20. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> what about this? Just put the established 2020 down there. I think I'm going to do that. I think it would, that's like the only thing that I would like it. I know y'all said leave it, but. I'm going to ignore you for a second. Not because I'm mean. Welcome to the world I live in. <laughs> because I ask you a question and then I do my own thing anyway. Facts. Yeah, that's what I do. I, I'm kind of like asking the universe for the question. And then it comes to me. So whether it was what you said or whether it was what I thought of, it's the same thing. That's all. And then I can use the same cute color, which will tie it in down here just a little bit. My heater makes weird noises. Oh, do I need to turn it off? No, I'm just saying it out loud. Like it makes creepy noises. It goes ring. I don't even hear anything. Why? Well, I, I know. You gotta like have ears of like a. Oh, it's cute. So it's cute in person in real life. I'll show you. I like it. Make sure it's dry before I pick it up because I've been having bad luck. It looks cute. I love it. It's cute. So this is going to force me to decorate for Easter, open up my Easter decorations in the back room, which are actually my husband's, not mine. Okay, so let's look at it. Oh wait, that would be backwards for you guys. Can you see it up close? Let's just do it the normal way. Just enough. Cute. Cottontail Farms, established 2020. And then I have my little cuteness up on top. Yay, it looks good, thank you. And then you'll always know when the transfer came out. <clears throat> yes, correct. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, so now that, that finishes it off. So here is my cute 
me look at it, it's really cute. Like, it's really cute. I like it a lot. That is going to look cute upstairs. And like I said, the back is like still pretty. So even if you put it somewhere where they can see the back, it won't be like I could even put like, so I have this lazy Susan thing on my table. It's a real big I got it from Costco. It's like this really big wooden tray and it has like a metal rim around it and it spins. And so I try to like do three things in like diet. I just try to like cluster the stuff so that if someone spins it, it'll look good from all sides. So that would be okay. There. I like it a lot. This board is just a 9 by 12 it's the 9 by 12 palette board, um, and these are just so handy. They're just so handy. If you're new and you haven't, like, figured out anything, this is one of your first videos you've ever seen, go ahead and type add me in the comments because then I can um, give you a link for my VIP group. You'll find more inspiration and ideas and um, special promotions that I do inside that group. It's called Creative Sarah's Chalk Nation. And um, if you have been around for a while and you know that we've been talking about Club Couture, Club Couture subscriptions, we have a subscription program where you can get a transfer um, kit that has three chalk paste colors and it's like a little project kit. You get one every month for $19.99 and it's actually free shipping. So you just pay um, the $19.99 plus tax. When you sign up for that subscription, you become our preferred customers. And so we have special preferred customer promotions. Say that, that's a mouthful. Special preferred customer promotions throughout the year. And right now, it's not too late to join in February. You'll get um, a sale on all the chalk paste. So you can get any colors you want, um, white, black, storm, guavalous, which are marvelous and guav. The, uh, guava. <laughs> anyway, um, all for 20% off. So that's a great sale. And if you're curious about becoming a designer, we're independent consultants for Chalk Couture. And um, I can get you all the information if you type team in the comments. I'll send you a link to join a quick group that has a video in it. I do a nice opportunity video every month. And so I show you kind of like, what does the kit look like? What is... Um, what are the things that you need to know before you sign up? Because we don't want you signing up blindly so you don't know everything. And I say it all in a video. It's easy to watch. And then if you have any questions, you can ask me. But um, that's team. So type team in the comments if you want any of that information. Otherwise, I'm going to leave you with this gorgeous little um, spring, happy spring um, thing. And um, it's a Friday. So you guys have an amazing awesome weekend and I'll chat with you later. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching.